What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of J Plays. Thank you for joining me on this hot ass Arizona day. Real quick, off screen, what I did was I went back to the um, Vault Keeper, Soul Keeper, the Big Crow, and we went ahead and increased our, I think it's our dexterity, I think, where we basically can chain our melee attacks together faster, and we're allowed to now charge up our ranged and melee attacks faster as well. So hopefully that comes in handy as we get ready to take on the witch, because I think that's what we have left to do. So forward march. Oh yeah, that's right. There's no point in doing that. I'm just so, I have a habit of whenever I see a new environment and there's breakable items, I just want to break it because I feel like that's how you collect stuff. But in this game, you only do it if you need um, arrows. I'm trying to remember how to use, been a little bit since I played, so I'm trying to remember how to use the fire. What do we, what do we do here? Oh man, how did I forget already? There we go. All right. Man, I don't know why I forgot that. Oh, I'm sorry. This is in our wait a minute. There's probably something over here to explore in the backside then now, right? Because there were the three. Oh, nope. I was wrong. Guess we'll come to that later. So instead, let's go up here. Or not. Oh, new creatures. Okay. Oh, back out. I don't know what their attacks are. That was nice. Oh, and that was a miss. Major miss. Kind of looks like, what's that thing from Pokemon? The OG uh, purple one, Slimer, or whatever that ugly muck. I think muck. So I think it's something like muck. Looks like a brown version of that. Uh, Did I skip a door? I feel like I skipped a door. I didn't skip a door. Oh, those mucks are what's in the machine back there. Okay, well, I hope that's not crows that have been experimented on. Nothing over there. Not much in terms of exploration, so it's pretty much straightforward. Kind of move and fight. Move and fight. And try not to die, which is what I've been doing a lot in previous episodes. I'm trying to avoid that. Trying to be more patient in my attacks. You would think I would be super patient after Lisa the first, but still very impatient. What the hell are you? Can I hit those back at you? I tried and i think i'm poisoned so no nope, no nope, the answer is no no i cannot hit that back so gonna go over here now fire one more time for me two and then i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna say fire and then i'm gonna get the hell out the way i think we just yep definitely took some damage on that excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me there we go by the way shameless Oh, wait, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ah, Jesus. Okay, I thought I took that L. thought I took that L, but we're good. Oh, friendly fire's on. That's nice to know. That is great to know, actually. Keep it going. Hold on. Fire. That did nothing to him. I'm telling you, those ranged guys, usually they're weak, but this one in particular seems pretty strong. Oh, boy. Oh, I'm going to need some help. I'm going to need some help. Got out of there just in time. Okay, there we go. And we're up. And we're up. And payback's gonna be a B-I-T-C-H for you, man. Oh, God. I see you're effective up close as well. It's alright. We're effective far away. Why am I not throwing... There we go. Nice. So what I was gonna say is, I just finished watching Tomorrow War, which I know has been out for a while. That is a really solid movie. I'm not sure why that movie got... I thought at the time when it came out, I thought it got like some hate or some criticism. That was actually a really fun. It was. It reminded you of like a movie theater movie. Like it's definitely one of those movies you should watch in theaters. Unfortunately, I think you can only watch on Amazon Prime. But that was a really good watch. Like I thought the acting was really good from Chris Pratt and everybody involved. Uh, was it Sam Richardson, the uh, who played Charlie, was definitely to me the highlight of the film because he was hilarious that entire time just like mowing down enemies not even mowing down enemies he's just sitting there going downstairs and he's just like shit 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 the entire time he's shooting i swear he's, he says like 30 shits in that one moment right there but yeah I, if you're looking for a movie to watch on this beautiful sunday actually it's sunday today so you're probably not watching this on sunday if you're looking for a movie to watch though just because you're bored and i'm assuming you must be bored because you're watching this right now check out tomorrow war it's actually really good all right we're moving pretty quickly 
Uh, I should probably go plant something over there. Because I'm not necessarily hurting, but I'm sure I will be here very, very soon. One for the money. Two to get... Oh, I don't even remember. Oh, they're running out of fire? Because like, I don't remember switching to, uh, to arrows. I mean, I'll take them because they're... Uh, okay, well, they are effective if I learn how to hit. Just in the nick of time. He's about to whop up my ass. I'll take um, this one. Don't know why I waited. I think all three of them do the same exact thing. There's no actual pattern to them. Oh, boy. Hmm. Okay. And we'll throw this one on. Good thing we got that fire ability in just in the nick of time. Ah. Ah, I'm going to stay away from that. And I'm just going to keep the range attacks going here. Can he come up here? Oh, you can. Oh, boy. Ah, I stayed too long. Got greedy. Got super greedy. My fault. My fault. My fault. Back out. Ah! Come on. There we go. All right. And we don't even need to go get more arrows. Do need to get more healthier eventually. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Throwing it back at you. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I should have hit that purple guy, but oh, gosh. All right, so far, we're doing all right. We are hanging in there. Oh, God. Get out the way. 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 Get out. Ah, I did not get out the way. Did the exact opposite of getting out the way. Okay, let's do some range attacks now. Because we're getting in trouble. Throw it back now. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have... Get out the... Oh, back out! I'm stuck in a corner! I'm stuck in a... Okay, so we're fortunately back over here. We don't technically have to fight everything that's over here. I just kind of want to because, you know, now it's a matter of pride. I didn't even see the arrow guy. Now it's just a matter of pride. So I'm going to go in this difficult spot, put myself in this dangerous situation just to prove that I can beat this moment. I'm also noticing that, like, when I'm running back, I'm not... I, if I can avoid fighting the things uh, that haven't killed me, I will just because they really don't provide that many souls. They're, like, all pretty much one, no matter how new of an enemy they are, they all seem to provide one soul, which is not very beneficial. I mean, I guess I wanted to sit here and grind it would be, but not really the point, I don't think. Because they're all killable enemies. It's like, usually it's just simple mistakes that get you killed. Or impatience. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, that was impatience. That's what I was referring to right there. That was almost my ass. Oh boy, watch out, watch out. Okay, we're gonna go away from there. Oh boy, I'm gonna get out of here too. And, uh, you know. What the? F I'm not sure. I guess I wasn't paying attention as well as I should have been. I thought I was. Get out the way. Get out the way. Nice. Okay. Get out my way. Get, get out my way. Get out the green stuff. We're doing all right. We're getting there. Whew. I honestly didn't know if we were. All right, we're back. I am more than a little upset with myself. Oh, my gosh. He's still trying to get that last hit in. That would have been upsetting had we died. Oh, it's good to see an old friendly friend again. Rolling. At least they still give you two. Wait for it. Rolling. Oh, wait. I missed my opportunity there. I can't see him. 
There we go. Oh, there's a tree of life that I've been looking for. And now we're down to one. All right. Let's see what we have here in store for... Ow. I'm just not acting as intelligently as I should be. Get out my way. Please get out of my way. Come on. There we go. Nice shot. And we'll just throw it back at you then. That works too. Everything is in order. Wait, 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 wait. Back out, back out, back out. Got a nice Kamehame Kame. Why can't I say that thing anymore? You know, it used to be so easy for me to say, and I cannot say it anymore. Kame Kameha? Is that right? Kame Kameha? I don't feel like it's right. It's coming off the tongue real weird right now. Either way, that's kind of the form it, it reminds me of when the crow decides to attack with the fireball. Very Goku-ish. Oh, in presentation. I thought I killed you. Now you're dead. I guess technically when I break down the armor, I could let them live because they're not a threat anymore. But the fact that so many of them have tried to kill me makes me a little sore. I'm not exactly the friendliest. All I want to do is kill a witch of the urn. That's all I want to do. I guess we're going on this. It's so hot today. I'm like sweaty, sweating. Super sweating. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What am I supposed to do here? What am I supposed to do here? Do I need to do I need to go? OK, I'm going to go over there because I am losing that battle. I need to get health. I got to go back and get health. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do here. Got it. Still need to get health, though. OK, now that we've solved our little health problem, we can move forward. Hopefully. Wait a minute. Get in there. Nope, that didn't do it. Oh, God. OK, hold on. Wait for me to figure this out. Wait a minute. OK, my aim is not great right now. Not not doing not doing well. An old boy is not helping the situation. Oh, my gosh. Please don't follow me over. Please. Come, please just leave me alone. Please just leave me alone. And I keep missing and I need health. I need something. Don't know what. I need something. I don't have any abilities and we're dead. They transport us back just to die. That is difficult, man. I'm wondering if I can hit his thing back at him. You can't. It lobs. Okay, so that was a waste of a health. Wait for him to shoot it up here. Please shoot it up here, please. Thank you. Oh my gosh, you took up my time. Finally. Oh, no more. No more. No more death. I'm going to go whoop his ass. I am so interested in just whooping his ass, and that is it. Just want to end you, dude. So bad. So, so bad. Okay. Well, while on the subject of things that make me happy, I forgot to mention the reason I like Tomorrow War was one of the things it does is it, like, subverts all those, like, typical tropes in a movie. Like, there are several moments where you're like, oh, I know it's going to happen next, or, oh, here comes that moment where this character sacrifices himself. And there is one moment where that, you know, actually does happen. But there are a lot of moments where what you think is going to happen doesn't happen. And I like the idea of, like, from the trailers, it looked like the movie was going to take place, like, all in the future and... You know, it's like a time traveling tale, and it is for like a good 30, 40 minutes. But then the second half is like a completely different vibe, no longer dealing with time travel and goes more into like the alien fighting mode of everything. And uh, I think that was actually. Yeah, I think that was my favorite half because you got a lot more of uh, of Charlie's character, because I thought one of the, the mistakes they had made at first was like, man, this movie feels like it's moving fast and they didn't have enough Charlie. Like they got rid of Charlie early on as far as like removing his character to go do something else. And I was like, well, that's going to be a misstep. But then you realize, oh, this is only a part of the movie. And there's a whole other part where Charlie gets to show up some more and make you laugh. Also, that first part is kind of sad. Like, even though it's like your standard action movie where you, you know, happy endings and all that, it kind of has a sad ending to it as well in a way that I wasn't expecting. Wait a minute. Isn't this the beginning? This is where we started at. This is where we started at. Okay, we're going up. 
Okay, what am I doing? I literally was following them down and blocking myself. Or following them up and blocking myself. Like a ninkin poop. Uh, we'll grab one just in case the witch is on the other side. She's not. Of course, they want us to suffer some more. And suffer we shall. In the name of fun, we shall suffer. Oh, wait. At least those things give us like... Oh, no. They're just adding up one by one. I thought they gave us like four. I saw four, but I see now that they were just stacking. Oh, my gosh. Why did I miss that? What does this do? Is there a purpose of this? No? Can I just attack from up, up high? I can. I'm gonna do that again. Don't do that attack often. So, going down. Oh boy. Uh, I'm missing something, aren't I? I am. And attack. I will easily do this one over. Going down a conveyor belt and getting hit by poison balls that you cannot lob back. Oh, I see your father came out to play. Set him on fire. Set him on fire. Back out. Set him on fire. Could you blow up for me, please? Oh, you can actually get in between the spikes. Some of these you can just kind of... You don't even have to dodge. If you just keep hitting them, they'll usually break before they attack. Oh boy, not that time. Not that. That was stupid. That was stupid. I don't even have to fight. I don't know why I'm fighting them. I guess I want the souls, kinda, even though they're not that many souls. Nice. We are just the impeccable engineer, aren't we? You know how to make this whole operation. I don't know how the witch got. Oh, I guess she doesn't need to use these if she can teleport all over the place. I'm not going to fight y'all. I'm going to be honest. Phil, I see death in my future, and I feel like it's a stupid death that I don't want to go through. Oh, boy. That was close. Like a really stupid death that I don't want to go through, and yet here I am going through it. Like a nincompoop. Oh, my gosh. They just keep on coming. You would think fire would be super effective against, I don't know what they are, mud? Oil slicks. Annoying pieces of Sheba. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I want no part of this. No, 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 no. Y'all can all stay alive for all I care. Unless there's something I missed back there, but oh well. Oh, this seems very boss-like. I don't even have enough to go level up anything, so we'll go in here, but I can't. I only have 200. Everything that we need to buy is 600 now. Got any um, tips for me on the witch? I'm relieved. It was kind of like the world was getting, you know, stagnant. No new souls being made, which means nothing to reap and no rewards for us. So nobody was having babies? Is that what you're saying? All right, well... Oh, are you? Nobody was dying. Right, right, right. Everybody's living forever. This seems very witch of the battle of the urn like. You little shit. Crows never do what they're told. I am trying to save lives here. Don't you understand? Death cannot see those who have massed their life force within an urn. Oh, right. That totally makes sense. Of course, the urn protects you from death. I can fool the Grim Reaper himself. You and I have something in common, little crow. The same employer. But goodness, we can't have them finding out about everything you've seen. Don't worry. I'll put your ashes in a lovely urn, all to protect us from death. You're so kind. Ooh. Very lady witch-like. The Witch of Urns. Grandma. All right, going at it. Just going to go straight for... Oh, oh, wait a minute. What's that do? What does that do? Okay, just blows up. That's good. That's good. We'll take a blow up. Okay. Ah! Stop throwing urns. Stop throwing urns. Especially if they got little balls in them. Throw it at Grandma. Ow. Okay. Oh, okay. Get out of there, Grandma. Get out of there. Gr Ow! 
What weird vase body you have, grandmother. Oh, Jesus. That's kind of... Oh, Jesus! Okay, gonna have to find out a way to avoid that attack. Probably could just dodge in between those, huh? Go wide, don't go near. All right, we'll try again. I love the animations for this. Now we just gotta stay wide, and we should be okay to dodge like that. All right, staying wide. Nice. Well done, us. Wait for her to come back. Wait for her to come back and eat that. What? I don't know why I just stood there. That was stupid. Okay, can't wait on that one, but I can't wait on this one. Wait for it. Wait for it. And grandmother. Get her, get her, get her, get her. And get away, get away, get away. All right, go wide as she gets bug-eyed on us. And just wait and see. And in between up. Are you kidding me? Oh, my depth is off. We are probably not going to do well on this one because we are down to one health. I'm not very comfortable with just one health, but I'm going to try. All right, going to get one out the way, going to get that out the way. Uh, we need to get some damage going here. Okay, well, that's good, I guess. Get out the way. Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh. Oh. Nice. If I had known that, I would have been doing that. Cool, we figured out something. You can set Grandma on fire in the pot. She does not like that. She is not a fan of a hot. Oh, that one got faster on us. Why did it get faster? She must getting up. She must be getting upset. No, no. <sighs> Ow. Oh, right. We only had one health. I couldn't afford to take any more damage. Right. Oh, now she's just shooting shit out, man. At least we got more health this time around. Nope, this isn't the time to do that. Come on, come on. Ah! There we go. Got her. Got her at the end there. Come on. Gotta be close to the end here. She's definitely just ready to blow up. Ready to blow up. Just can't be stupid. Just can't be stupid. Just can't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Please don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. Yeah! Got your ass, Grandma! Whew. Whew. That looks like a big soul. Upgrades, please. I have never felt prepared for any battle, so the upgrades will help a lot. Great Kingdom Hearts style. Oh, hey, it's the Steadho, it's the Steadhone, the Gravedigger. We gather here today to mourn the mi- <clears throat> Sorry. We <clears throat> gather here today to mourn the passing of a woman known by many names. I call her the Witch or the- <clears throat> I mean the Witch, sorry, her passing. The Witch of Urns. The Ceramic Sorceress, Earthenware Enchantress Crockery Crone. And, of course, Grandma. But don't make me sad about what I had to do to her. Driven by her maternal instincts and consumed by her endeavors to outwit death. She filled her life with a passion for magic, reanimation, potions, and pots. Those all go hand in hand, makes sense so far. Her journey is concluded, and she is now at peace. We don't know that. There's a giant skull on her. We have no idea where she's at right now. It's peaceful. Bow your head in remembrance. Pay hey, your last respects. Her time in this world is over. I don't mind if I break that vase, right? Because I want the souls in it. So like. Ah, I see. I'm going to pay my respects then. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to talk to everybody. How you doing? How you feeling after what I did to your grandmother? Your head doesn't seem to have returned to normal. So I suppose I will never be rid of this pot for a head. Still, I hope she finds peace beyond life. 
she can finally be reunited with Grandpa. <clears throat> Grandpa. Sip of the tongue. I quite literally have pots on the brain. Seriously, though. Rip Gran. Aw, oh, you're in a joking mood like me. She was evil, right? Like, she deserved that? You didn't see anything. Gonna take my crow ass over here. Hey, guys, still didn't figure out how to kill you, but I am working on it, actively working on your death. She died as she lived with a pot on her head. Wiser words have never been spoken, Stonehead. Uh, well, um, that was it. I We've killed the grandmother. We did what we set out to do, and I feel pretty proud of us. Like, what more is there to say except let's upgrade? Bye, guys. It's been a pleasure. Well, this seems like a new area that I have not explored before. You know that I'm thinking about the intro of this game. Where do we take a bus from if everything is just kind of floating in the air? Where the heck did we come from? Hello? You seem like you both would be a very difficult fight, so I'm hoping that is not in my future. Well then, the Lord of Doors, world's best lord. I, I love the, the humor of this game. Well... A crow. Hello there. And how exactly did you get in here? Ah. What's the point in having command over all of the doors in this world if my servants never remember to lock them? So, why are you here? To confront you. You are apparently crooked as hell, and I'm assuming that I'm gonna have to fight your friends down there and then you. I haven't actually met a crow in many, many years. You still have those beaks, and you still have a keyhole in your head, so... Nice. I sense a vast amount of soul energy about you, little crow. Strange. It feels oddly familiar to me. I bet it does, boss. Oh, is that why you're here? You've come seeking a reward your your cup's empty I, I looked into it there was nothing in there very good job little one bravo very emphatic clap he has going there now be a good little bird and turn them into your vault there's no need to bring souls directly to me. I have more important matters to attend to. Ciao. Oh. Are you not intrigued? Do you not want to know more about what the hell is going on in this world? Ooh, ow. What are you doing here? Did you find your assignment yet? I found one. Wait, you have a giant soul, but it's the wrong one. I can't process that. How did you manage that? Never mind. Get back out there and find your assigned soul. Well, aren't you a cheery, cheery crow? I can't help you unless you bring your assigned soul. Can't you see how stressed I am? What about your buddy? Is he excited to see me? He loves work. If you die and don't finish this task, maybe I'll get a mountain of paperwork to fill in too. That would be amazing. Just love it when we meet people excited about our own death. That's just great. Welcome to the soul vault. Yes, I would because I feel like I have a lot of... So really? I got this giant soul and all I have is 580. That's all I got for that. I can't even upgrade. I don't even have enough to upgrade. Oh, that was a waste of my time. Oh my gosh. Why did I do any of that? Oh, I just want to see if anything's opened up to us yet. I don't think so, but you know, just to be sure. Nobody saw that. How about you? You got something to say to me? That useless crow covered in trash kept throwing seeds at me. So I sent him on his way. He acts all carefree, but he sets my guard since his tingling. I'm sure he's up to no good somehow. Hmm. Anybody got some souls to spare? Just want to upgrade my, my uh, everything, actually. Just want to upgrade my everything. Spare, spare soul. Please spare souls. Please spare soul. Spare soul. Somebody spare soul. Spare me a soul. Give me a soul. 
I just need a soul. I need a, Oh, I don't think I've been up here before and I see something in a light on fire. I just need a soul. Give me a soul. Oh. See what happens when you just ask for things. Ask and you shall receive enough to upgrade at least our attack. This appears to be a Reaper's abandoned logbook. My colleague failed to return from a routine mission. I tried heading through this, his door to check in on him, but it was sealed shut. Orders from upper management, apparently. Didn't occur to the head office, but they insisted that this was normal procedure and the case was closed. Still no word from my colleague. He mentioned he was being assigned to assist a powerful witch with some research last time we had lunch. He said he was a bit worried before he started, but it turned out she was quite a nice old lady. I think I know what happened to your buddy. It's not good. I wonder if she had anything to do with the closure. I hope he's alright. Hmm. Well, he's free now. You found a scale model of an ancient reaper door. It doesn't function and was probably made long ago as a mock-up for the doors. What does that do for us? Just shiny things. Okay, just more stuff to put around our desk, I guess. We're going to have the most interesting desk in all the Crowland. I call it Crowland, but I think this place actually has a name. I'm back. Yeah, I finally have enough. I just beat a boss, didn't have enough, but I found some souls in an old office, so I'm going to use this to definitely get our strength up because our strength is trash. All right. Be wary exploring those old offices. It's fun, sure, but some of those upstairs don't want crows like us snooping. Heh, heh. Here. Yeah, too bad I'm gonna keep doing it because I keep finding cute stuff. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I think that's all the time we have for today's episode. So this is where we're going to end it. We finally did what exactly what I said we were gonna do in the last episode, which 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 was kick the old witch's ass, which is what we did after one, two, three, four, five times. But we did it, and that's what's important. Even though we can get a lot of souls for it, and I don't feel like we'd be getting the recognition we deserve from crows like him and over there and the one who does our paperwork, we still did it, and for that, I am proud of us because we're starting slowly working our way back up to average crow so we can then be the most badass crow. I want to thank you all so much for joining me for this episode of Jay Plays. It's truly been fun. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. I am Jay Wright, and I will see you there. Deuces.